pick up to go and I'm gonna hit the road tonight Now my wheels in motion and my Tim Worth, the country, music capital of Australia. You've left that out for the cleaners, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, you know more about that than hey. me. She's got to hide her toys before the cleaners get here. I can tell you that right now. They won't be here when she gets back otherwise. <laughs> Kimmy's still got to get a city head on, though, because there's traffic lights. And she'll get left behind if she hasn't got a city head on, won't you, babe? Sure, will. On the Google? Yeah. The Google has its own powers, babe. Okay, so here we are. We are at the big golden guitar. You can probably see it up behind us there, look. Kimmy just had a lesson 101 in backing the motorbike in. We are not even gonna go there, guys. Not even gonna go there, okay? Don't touch him. Shit, he touched <laughs> me. <laughs> oh, I don't think. He elbowed me. Oh, I don't think he did. What about Rich? I remember you. Oh, I remember that song. You're the one who make my dreams come true. Thanks, mate. Really lifelike, aren't they? They are, they're very good, very good indeed. Who nanny, who nanny, who nanny, who nanny, who nanny, who nanny. Lee wasn't very happy that day. No, he doesn't look happy, does he? Boy, Cassidy's one year younger than you. Is he really? Yeah, he's 74, you're 75. She's a diabetic, you know, guys, and look at her. It's all diabetic stuff. They probably are the best ones. Are they? Mm. You recommend them? Oh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> They've just come out of the oven, too. Oh, dude. So this is the Powerhouse Museum, guys, Motorcycle Museum. We're going to go and see if we can have a look around in there. OK, then. Previous episode, we turned up in Tamworth. Yes, we're here for two nights. And they do say, red at night, sailors delight. Well, the next day did not disappoint. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Kimmy Ruff's Adventures. Where are you, mate? Kimmy's over there still getting ready. Oh, she's giving me the finger. We are still in Timworth, a country music capital of Australia. In the bay. That's what they say. Sweetie, are you ready to go? Come on, I'm ready. I'm ready. Come on then, let's go. Let's go. She's made a hell of a mess in there. But we've woken up to another beautiful morning, haven't we, here on the road again? Whoops. Wait, Rusty got the key? Yes, Rusty's got the key. <laughs> You can never be too sure. But this is what we've woken up to. Supposed to be a beautiful 24 degrees today, I think it is. Well, I don't know if I showed you out in the back last night. Now remember, we're staying here for two nights in Tamworth. We're gonna do a few things around in Tamworth today. The main street's just over there. We're gonna walk down, we're gonna get a bit of brekkie down the main street and um, then we'll decide what we're going to do. We're going to go out to the Harley place, aren't we? Yeah. We're going to the Harley place? Sure are. Yes, and we're going to go, we're not going to tell you everything. We can't tell you everything. We can't devour everything. We're not filming at the Harley place, so. Who's that yeah, Well, she can walk in with the camera if she wants and see what they say to her. Well. Right, I've got to go. Oh, yep. What is that doing out on the fucking table? Have you left a present for the cleaner? Oh, yeah. But yeah, maybe you were going to set the camera up. Must have been the fun night last night for someone, eh? What do you reckon? Well, you do go to sleep. Can you make a dance, babe? There's a dance light, eh? <laughs> hey, babe? Well, have know. you left that you out for the cleaner? You You've <laughs> left that out for the cleaners, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, you know more about that than hey? me. <laughs> yeah, right. You know all about it, mate. Babe, it's going to flat. She look like rusty, it goes flat after a while. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, she's got to hide her toys before the cleaners get here. I can tell you that right now. They won't be here when she gets back otherwise. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah. Hey guys, catch ya. Well, that's what happens. Don't know, on the road later? I don't know. Well, time to go down the street. Just got around the corner next to the servo and this fella here, Alice Dare is his name, yelled out to us, Kimmy Russ. Well, it's always nice to stop and have a chat to a subscriber on the road. He recognises just walking past. Then, off down the street to have some brekkie. Fabulous little cafe, this one. Tamworth, oh, what a beautiful city. 
Over the past 40 years, Tamworth has become synonymous with country music. It is known as the country music capital and the culmination of the Big Guitar, the huge country music festival, reportedly the second largest in the world. The Country Music Hall of Fame and numerous lesser attractions has ensured that the city can offer days, even weeks of country music flavoured activities. In spite of this apparent focus on all things country, the city has much more to offer. There is a rich history of significant and gracious buildings, the importance of the surrounding agricultural area which produces wool, dairy, products, eggs, poultry, wheat, lucerne and honey, the economic importance of cattle, horse and sheep studs and the simple fact that with a population of over 40,000 it is a thriving prosperous service centre. Alright, big bump here, okay? Yeah. You can come out of this white line, come off come off the gutter, don't come all the way though. We're going left, yep, yep, yep. And we're going left, okay? Yep. Oh no, we'll go straight ahead actually, babe. Okay. Sorry. Okay, so we're just out and about in Tenworth at the moment, aren't we, babe? Alright. On this fine day. Yes, it is a very nice day. We're just going to have a look around a few places. We're going to go out to the Harley shop. This is the street our motel's on. And see this services club up on the left here, guys? All you can make Chinese tonight. 25 bills. In the boat, this one here. Santa Cruz's Kitchen, that one. That's where had, we'll be. had a nice cheap meal there last night. Not Chinese. Chinese from Tuesday in the boat. Yes. Already been out and about for brekkie, haven't we? It is, I reckon, an absolute beautiful place, Tamworth. <coughs> Kimmy got a city head on? Yeah, I got my city head on. It's okay. Not so busy, really. Nah. Kimmy still got to get a city head on, though, because there's traffic lights, and she'll get left behind if she hasn't got a city head on, won't you, babe? Sure, will. Hotel Ibis, that's where. And we've stayed the last few times we've been to Tamworth in the boat yeah. right here. But we're a bit closer to town this time. Which is a nice, nice hotel. Yeah. So this is the Harley dealership here, guys, we're going to. Could have parked there, I guess. We'll go around the corner and have a look. Yeah, there's not much... Oh, yeah, we could park here, couldn't we? Yeah. I'm up here, though, aren't I? That's not going to matter. Keep going. Keep going, my love. Keep going, keep going, keep going. No, do you? Keep out of the gutter, babe. Lever in first gear, please. And engines <laughs> off and stand down. Thank you. <laughs> Muchly appreciated. Okay, we're going to go in here and have a bit of a look, aren't we? We dropped in here at Western Rangers Motorcycles. Have a quick look around. These guys, quite a few years ago now, they helped us out when Kitty Sporty was playing up, was chugging along. You cannot get a better dealership than this one. Great people here. Well, there wasn't much to report of there in that Harley shop, was there, babe? Not really. There, uh, no funds departed our hands, put it that way. No, they didn't. But some nice bikes in there. And we might head on out to the Golden Guitar. What do you reckon, babe? Sounds like a plan, Stan. Yeah, well, we think that's where we're going. If they don't let us in there filming, I'm not going. Well, I'm sure they would because there's... How do they get pictures of people on the Google? On the Google? Yeah. The Google has its own powers, babe. There's your golden guitar there. Mac is there if you want lunch. He's cool. Still trying to wear my brekkie off. That's a motorcycle parking here for sure. Is it? Yep, it is. Downhill for me. No, it's okay. Well, you can back it in if you want. Got a car behind me and it's a hump there, so I can't... Well, you can do. Just go around now. That's all right. Uh, you won't get it up. You won't get it up. Just go straight towards the entrance and come back, okay? Yep. Then I just stick it in neutral. That's a good idea. You don't want it taken off on you. Fuck no. Fuck no. So this here, guys, is the big golden guitar in Tamworth. In the boat. Yep. Now go out straight out the sign, straight. Keep going. 
Can I do an orange? Thank you. Yeah. We'll just have a look. No, come my way more. My way more. Keep coming. Now straighten. Straighten. Straighten up. Yeah. Mate, you're over too far against me now, I reckon. You've gone in crooked. Alright, go forward a bit. Okay, so here we are. We are at the big golden guitar. You can probably see it up behind us there. Look, up there, right there in the boat. Yep. So we are in Tamworth, obviously, the capital. Country music capital. Of Australia. So they say in a boat. Yeah. So this is it here, the Big Golden Guitar, a tourist centre. The Big Golden Guitar is a replica of the famous Golden Guitar Award and the symbol of the world-renowned annual Country Music Festival. The Country Music Wax Museum and the National Guitar Museum are located inside the centre and are a must-visit destination for country music fans and music enthusiasts. The National Guitar Museum features more than 45 guitars autographed by Australian and international country music icons. They include Smokey Dawson's original rifle guitar from the 1950s, Brian May from Queen Travelling Guitar, Tommy Emmanuel's first Matlam guitar, a signed Washburton guitar from Kiss, Paul Stanley and two customised guitars belonging to Slim Dusty. just had a lesson 101 in backing the motorbike in. We are not even going to go there, guys. Not even going to go there, OK? The way she lines her up, no, we're not going to touch it. We're Don't not going to touch it. OK, we're going to go and see if we can actually film in here, aren't we, babe? Yeah. OK, so we're in. I'll just show you here. The cafe and the gift section over there. So we'll have a look. We've got to go through the sign walls, don't we, babe? Ready? For the Wax Museum. Please do not touch Chad Morgan. <laughs> He's Chad. fragile, babe. Do so you want to any... get a picture with me with him? Oh. Oh, I don't there know. You go. Don't touch him. Shit. He <laughs> touched me. <laughs> oh, I don't think he. elbowed me. Oh, I don't think he did. Oh, there's Frank Ifield. Love Frank Ifield. Who's that dude? Frank oh, Ifield, Reg babe. Lindsay. Reg Lindsay and Frank Ifield. Mm. Australian music icon Frank Ifield, a country singer who was known for incorporating yodeling into his songs, also gave the Beatles an early break by booking them as a support act in 1962. In a career spanning seven decades, he recorded 24 albums and presented with the Medal of the Order of Australia in 2009. He died peacefully in Sydney on Saturday the 18th of May 2024. Love Frank Ifield. What about Rich? I remember you. Oh, I remember that song. Yes. You're the one to make my dreams come true. Thanks, mate. Yes, um, indeed. Dearest of bells. Oh, we've got some classics here, haven't we, babe? Those were the days. Tim McNamara. Obviously, he broadcast from a radio station, didn't he? Late 40s. Tim on the stage, the 2SM radio show, and his figure is from the 70s. Anyone that's interested in country music would know a lot of these Australian ones, won't they, Bo? Mm -hmm. Now, everyone knows Smokey Dawson, don't they, Bo? They do. What a legend. Look at him, there on his horse. Made his first recording in 1941. I'm a happy go lucky cow hand. Thus begin the lifelong recording at Heritage Hall of our wide colourful land. Sorry about the light in here guys, but you'll just have to put up with that. Jimmy Little, yes, and the Hawking Brothers. They're really lifelike, aren't they? They are, they're very good, very good indeed. It really does depict them, don't it? And there's old Slim, babe, Slim and Joy. The oh. McKean sisters, mm -hmm. obviously Joy was one of them. What a legend, eh? And Heather. Yeah. Graham Connors, I do love When the Cane Fields Burn, Let the Cane Fields Burn, absolutely fantastic song, if no one has ever heard of it, it really is a good song. That's a Tex Beans Hootenanny by One Man Band. Hootenanny? Look at that. <laughs> oh yeah. Hootenanny, 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 Hootenanny. Very well done in here. Gene Stafford. And Johnny Chester. You loved Johnny Chester, didn't you? I did, yeah. They were two great ones. Oh, yeah. Gosh, I remember that. 
From Tassie to Winchy. Mm. We used to watch her play when we were kids at different places. And Johnny Chester used to tour in Tassie all the yep. time. Yep, he used to go to the bottom pub. Yep. Good old buddy Williams. Very well laid out, all this. Oh, mate, who'll take the dog? Mate, who'll take the dog? Rick oh, and Fell Carey. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Anyone that doesn't know that, look it up. Rick and Fell Carey, who'll take the dog? That's in there. It's early times. Here's the man from the bush, babe. Lee Kernigan. Lee Kernigan, guys. Lee wasn't very happy that day. No, he doesn't look happy, does he? Not smiling. All the others are smiling. They're all wax figures, those figures, guys. Different, all the different guitars. Oh, pedal steel guitar. Angus Young. Three Furman's guitars. Pretty cool in here, isn't it? Look at that boomerang guitar, guys. This is one of only five ever made. Mm, that's cool. And if you throw it, it will come back. <laughs> yeah, Becky Cole. Tex Morton, babe, a legend. The father of Australian country music. She looks like she's looking at me, babe. They could have made her teeth a little bit whiter, because they're white in the picture. Maybe she smokes. Here's your mate here. Hmm? Old Chad. Oh, Chad, look at you. That's just sexy. Mr. Sexy. Williamson, John Williamson. Troy Cassidale's one year younger than you. Is he really? Yeah, he's 74, you're 75. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm, OK. Uh, he's 54. Mm. There you go. Oh, we're just about out. We are. Oh, marvellous, eh? Mm. That's not too bad. What do you reckon? Yeah, that's worth ten bucks for sure. Yeah, of course it's ten bucks to get in. But if you like country music and into all those artists, mm. Frank Ivell, babe, I like Frank Ivell. Well, I'll take an extra picture of okay, him. Okay, thank you. Get out of the light, okay. the shadow man. Thanks, Ollie. How's the song go? Mm. I'm not singing it again. Go over there with Chad. I remember you. Mm. Make my dreams come true. Like that, mate. Good job, mate. Okay. So this is out of the foyer a bit. Apparently, it's a pretty good cafe, that one. So old Rusty might have to try it out. All the tourist brochures of all the area and everything. And things to do. Got them all here. The first electric street lighting in Tamworth was 1888. Was it? That's and marvellous. If we'd have gone to the Powerhouse Museum, it was open. Yes. We would have known that. So why can't we go there? It's not open to fight. Right, there you go. We'll go over here and have a look at the gifts. Look at all the little guitar brooches. Reg Lindsay. <laughs> Restrain yourself, you're not allowed to sit on the saddle. Oh, okay. Okay? So, we might go and, um, do you want to sit down and have coffee or what? Yep. Yeah? That is the museum. So we're about to go into the cafe, we'll have a sit down, and then we're going to solve on down the road, aren't we, sweetie? To a lookout, I think. You think I'm looking? Yes, I'm looking out at the bikes. I've seen a sexy bike, a black one out there. <laughs> <laughs> See? Out there. Out there. Sexy black one, one of them. Yeah, babe. Yeah. yeah.
So this is the cafe at the Golden Guitar. What did you order, babe? Uh, cappuccino. Yeah, what else? Um, you ordered the cappuccino. Oh, yes, and what else? But what um, else did you order? Just some scones and cream jam. And yeah, what? It's got a what? Yes. She's naughty, isn't she, hey? They just come out of the oven, actually, so yeah. she couldn't resist them. Yeah. The lady tried convincing old Rusty, but old Rusty's got a tro tro terrific figure to keep here. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. Kim, she's off the radar. So this is the cafe. And apparently, the scones are the best in Australia, aren't they? Yeah, that's what she said. That's what we were told. So that's why I've got one, so I can rate it. But I've got She'll nothing. tell you what they're like in a minute, guys. I've got nothing to compare it to, though. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this scone. Now, this is going to make a mess. Is it warm? It is. Nice and warm. It's just it's come out of the oven, hasn't it? Yeah. You're going to eat it all? No, you're going to have some. No, Rusty's not oh, having yeah. any. No, yes. I am not. I'm feeling it. I am not having any. That's so nice, that jam. I think it's apricot. And there's sugar in the cream. She's a diabetic, you know, guys, and look at her. It's all diabetic stuff. Pop another pill, babe. Just pop another Just pop pill. pill. Sound advice. As you've long got as you take your medicine. You've got enough you've got enough pills with you. Pick, just pick one, babe. Mm. Look at that. Fully loaded, aren't you, babe? Mm. So nice. They probably are the best stories. Are they? Mm. You recommend them? Oh yeah, for sure. So nice. That lady said they were the best, didn't she? Mm -hmm. Going in the mouth there. Look at that. That's disgusting, isn't it, eh? Oh, Rusty, what's Rusty got? Just coffee. Just coffee. How many have you Because mm. Rusty's a good boy. A couple of minutes ago, Kimmy just told me, she said, Right, I'm not, oh well, about an hour ago, she said, I'm not having anything that else eat today because we're going out to all you can eat tonight, Chinese. And what am I doing? What's this? I'm breaking my own rules. It's so nice, eh? <laughs> just come out of the oven too. Oh, dude. Mm. <laughs> oh, Kimmy, she's done a damn fine job of that, didn't she? Look at that. Mm -hmm. Proud of her, though. She didn't eat all the creams, did you? No, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't. she held back, didn't you? Yep. Are you full now? I am. So yeah. how are you going to go to turn on? I'm going to walk it off. There you go. 2.5 kilometres up to the lookout. She's not walking all the way out to look out, guys. We're riding up to look out. All right, so we'll catch you back out on the road. I think we might be going to the Powerhouse Museum next. You ready? Yep. Go, before he comes. Bump there, babe, bump there, bump there. Got it. We can't go across the road. Yep. No, well, we're going to have island. to go left then, babe. Yeah. We'll have to go left. Go left and then down there to do a Yui. Oh, well, I'm not sure which way he's taking me. He should be able to take me back this way. Okay, so that was the Golden Guitar, guys. What do you reckon? Not yep. too bad, eh? All the years we've been to Tamworth, we've never ever been there, so we thought we'd better do it. Yep, something to do. We are a big country music fans, aren't we, babe? We are, yes. So, yes, thoroughly enjoyed that. So, anyway, are we going to the... Well, then we're going to the Motorcycle Powerhouse Museum now. So we'll catch you when we get there. 140 metres away, babe. Here it is. Right here. Where did we get in? Right, no, not there. Down further, babe. Up, up here. Yep. Go wide here. Go wide. Then come up, then around. Then keep going. Do not stop. Keep coming, keep coming. That's it. That's it. Just we'll just back it in. <laughs> yeah, I did too. Nothing wrong with that, babe. Why? Well, we can pull straight out here, can we? Yep. Okay, I so. Far enough. Yeah, you're right. So this is Powerhouse Museum, guys. Motorcycle Museum. We're gonna go and see if we can have a look around in there. Now my wheels in motion. And my 